to serve as a police personnel is one of the greatest honors of a citizen. These men and women do not only leave their families to keep vigil whilst the rest of us go to sleep, but they also put their lives on the line to protect other lives and property. There are numerous police personnel nursing all manner of life-threatening injuries as a result of their service as officers of the law. While some survive terrible accidents and gunshots from suspected criminals, others had their lives cut short. From 2017 to 2021, 56 police personnel have either been killed or died in line of duty within the 60-month period. In 2021, Lance Corporal Emmanuel Kobiose was killed in Accra whilst escorting a bullion van. Ten other police personnel died in the same year. A flag-raising and rate-laying ceremony was observed for the fallen hero. Twenty twenty witnessed the highest number of related deaths within the period with fourteen police officers losing their lives on duty. The highlight of related deaths in twenty nineteen was the killing of two MTTD police personnel at Budumbram. Sergeant Michael Jamesi and Lance Corporal Awal Mohammed were shot dead by suspect Eric Kojodia. Seven other police officers died whilst on police duties. Twenty-eight police personnel died on duty in 2018 and 2017. The untimely deaths and life-threatening injuries of these personnel mostly bring hardships to their families. As a stopgap measure, President Ekufuado launched a 6.1 million CD police emergency medical intervention fund to alleviate their predicament. I've been assured the beneficiaries do not have to go through the usual bureaucratic and the associated delays which have been in the past resulted in some cases in personnel losing their lives whilst awaiting treatment and the deterioration of medical conditions of some others. As we present the first three beneficiaries of the fund, Chief Inspector Victor Anaku, Inspector Theresa Ohine, and Corporal Isaac Esuman Upoku, with amounts covering the cost of medical treatment in Ghana and abroad, I'm hopeful that all police officers who require medical treatment will receive the best of care without recourse to the cost of treatment.